Okay. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, the CombatSystem.com, Wolfman Combatives, talking about sucker punches. You're in a club, we talk often when people confront you going to a prepared stance or a fence, but if someone's behind you, on the side of you, mark backwards with my shoulder and wait. Okay? So let's just go over the front hand right now. So give me, give me the front hand, give me the jab to, or the hook or whatever here. Okay? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay? Uh, and now if your angle is a little bit different, you're doing the same thing. Let's see. There was four. So, yeah, back. So now it's coming this way. Same punch. I'm coming back now. See, here I can bump it forward. Here the relationship's a couple foot different. I have to bump it backwards. Here, boom, 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 whatever. Okay? So give that to me again. Okay? And, uh, here. Okay, you see how it can flow and obviously go very uh, explosive from there. Um, be more behind. Give me the right hand. To, to hand. Yeah, I'll do anything to intercept that punch. It's all about redirecting. It doesn't have to look fancy. I don't know what it is. I just know, oh shit, I better shell up a little bit and I better cover. I better do something. Okay, again? Whatever. Okay? Again? <laughs> Whatever you happen to get out of it, you'll get something, okay? Um, come here, other side. So what's important is just that most people don't practice these motions. You gotta learn how to use your shoulders to finish. So give me this front right jab towards the chin first. Maybe I trap the arm. Maybe you don't trap the arm, maybe I do trap the arm. But obviously I can use it if I get it. See these loose motions help you find stuff. Boom. Oh, I got something. Okay. I'm going light, but I just want you to see what it is. Okay, again. Okay, not here, not here, here, whatever. So, you have to be aware. Change the angle with the same punch now. So that was here. Okay, so. Now you're coming like this. Okay, so now he's coming, he's a little more not hitting. Before he was like this, now it's like this, it's more straight on the side. So I have to decide how to pick that up. If I just start to pick it up out of the corner of my eye, at the very least I can shell and move my chin out of the way and bump it with the shoulder, like a shoulder roll, a Philly, a Philly shoulder roll in boxing. Again, here. If that's all I did, fine. And then I'd whip back with something. Loose whip ballistic straight. Okay, again. Break the structure, take them down, here, here, whatever, okay? So using that shoulder is what's important. Um, come from behind, and now you're coming. Usually it's not going to be a southpaw guy. But if it, if it was, either way. Okay, so you give me the right hand I'm going to deal with the same way. You go orthodox, and you're stepping in for that right hand punch here. So this is just like the jab before, it's his right hand. I'm going to go this way, right? And I got the same kind of stuff, ending up out of it, ending up out of it, head and arm spins, whatever. Yeah. Got it? So, it doesn't really matter what arm it is, or orthodox or southpaw or whatever. It just matters the angle of the incoming strike. Uh, if you're more forward now and you're trying to come at me with that cross to the chin, you're trying to jack me across this way. I can come into it. Sorry, you're good. I can come shoulder roll with it, okay, wherever it is, okay. So now we'll do just a couple more, a little instinctively, whatever it throws at me, it throws at me. So whatever you float it, you float it. 
What's important is chill up and defend. So you're coming back with something. Could be an elbow, it doesn't matter. As long as you're covering up and being loose. Yeah, I have options. Alright guys. So anyway, I'm not going too live, it's hard to. I just want to give you an idea.